Courageous Women of Faith. Welcome to day 13 of the 30 days of She is Strong and Courageous. Thank you for being with me. Today, we're going to be talking about a very courageous woman of faith, a woman who was unclean and shunned by her community, but who risked everything to seek healing from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what we're talking about today is where do we go to seek healing? Now, I don't know about you, but I know there are times that I'm guilty of trying to fix everything myself before I go to the Lord, before I drop to my knees or I ask my friends to join me in prayer. But that is truly the very first place that we need to go. And I hope today's devotion will inspire you to do just that. Today, we're talking about the account of the bleeding woman in Matthew 9, verses 20 through 22. Now, this is a significant account. It's covered in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. All three Gospels felt that this was a very important miracle healing that needed to be discussed. Now, this is a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She was unclean, so she wouldn't have been allowed in the synagogue to worship. She couldn't even go to church and worship. She wasn't allowed to be around people. She was isolated. She spent every dime she had. She had gone to every doctor she knew. But then she heard of the one true physician, the one that she knew and had faith in that could heal her. Now, this is also significant because Jesus is in a large crowd. He's on his way. He'd been asked by a synagogue official by the name of Jairus to heal his daughter who had died. So Jesus is on his way to Jairus' home to heal his daughter, and he feels someone touch his cloak. Now, he didn't necessarily feel the touch. What he felt was the power, the healing power within him, leaving his body and healing this person that had touched him. And so this woman simply knew if I could grab onto one of his tassels, if I could just touch his cloak, I know that I will be healed. And she was. She was very courageous. And I love how Jesus responded to her. He didn't condemn her. He didn't turn around and scold her, but he simply acknowledged her and lovingly commended her for her strong faith. So I want to ask you, Where do you go when you need healing? If you have a broken heart, if you have a health condition, if you have a financial woe, if you're simply struggling with fear and uncertain circumstances, who do you go to first? Do you go to the Lord or do you try to fix it first? God will give you everything you need, wisdom, guidance, discernment, and he's still in the miracle business. Are you willing to accept whatever healing that he decides is best for you in your life? Sometimes it doesn't always look the way we want it to. Sometimes it looks very different. But God knows what's best in the long run. He knows the number of our days, and he knows what each one of them consists of. So do you trust him? Do you go to him? And do you lay your needs before him? That's where we need to go, and that's where we need to seek healing. I pray that that you will allow this devotion and this courageous woman of faith to inspire you to seek healing from our Lord. And I pray also that you will dive into God's Word. After you've spent time in the devotional, read and study and listen to God's Word throughout the day. Let it build your courage muscles up. Let it build your faith up to a point where you trust Him with your life. You know, one great way that you can certainly do that, and it's one of my favorite ways to listen to the Word, is by listening to the Courage for Life Bible app. So I hope you'll join me there at courageforlife.org. You can find out more about it there. If you don't already have it downloaded, you can go to your app store on your Apple or Android device and listen to the Bible with me today. Go to the book of Matthew and listen to chapter 9, and then continue listening for as long as you have time to listen and let God's Word encourage your heart. God bless you and join us again for another Courageous Woman of Faith. Have a great day.